can go the, um, the route of hydrogen or you can go the route of oxygen. Uh, just from a scriptural point of view, just to give an insight in the Vedic scriptures, the route of hydrogen is liberation, whereas the route of oxygen is, uh, you could say enjoyment, you could say uh, the um, shackles in the material world, so many things like that. So if we concentrate and we put our way on those two primary uh, things of existence, then we either, we either looking for liberation or we're living, looking for staying here and living better. Uh, nobody blames you for wanting to live better, but uh, stay here, it's, uh, it's not, in, not possible at all. <laughs> yeah, it's not possible at all. So here we have water. And the water is giving off hydrogen. That hydrogen uh, is in a different state, and it'll go into your body. It's natural hydrogen. It's not mechanical, machine-made hydrogen. It's natural hydrogen with all the symptoms of hydrogen. And it goes in. You just breathe it in and hold your breath. Breathe it in and hold your breath. I'll see if I can take a picture of myself. I'm not holding my breath so I can go ahead and talk and get uh, the uh, video out. It's important. So take the, the route of hydrogen. This is brass. Uh, if you use any kind of steel or anything, it gets black, it cracks. It just doesn't work so nice. This is brass and it's pretty thin. And that is pretty hot. You know? And you keep it at a hot temperature. You just begin with a few drops and you hit the, the uh, side where it just rolls in. As it's rolling down, it's taking up a uh, heat. And see, I'll, I'll do it. As it's rolling down, it's taking up heat. That is not acting like boiling. That is not acting like boiling. That's a higher state. And if one thinks that water has only uh, existence in a three-dimensional uh, plane, uh, it's foolishness. The three-dimensional plane also exists in the two-dimensional plane, also exists in the one-dimensional plane. And it's not the no-dimensional plane. The zero is actually the entire thing. Once it gets past the one-dimensional plane, which is distinction. Distinction makes, okay, this is my place, that's your place. It, it gives so many distinctions. I'm going faster than you. I'm accelerating. You know, In other words, uh, the, the, it becomes the point. I have a point, you have a point. So when it becomes undistinguished, undistinguished. That is the eternal point. It's homogeneous. It's home and and because it's harmonious, it'll never be destroyed. Never be destroyed. It can still react just like you're reacting in this world. That is a very, very bad reflection of three different planes. You, you come into the plane of mind, which is the simplest, the yes or no. Then you've come into the plane of the intelligence, where there's some uh, calculations within the brain of yes or no. And then you've come into this three-dimensional uh, plane, where touching, feeling, these are all also existing in the other two planes. And, and they are existing perfectly in the homogeneous harmonious plane perfectly here there's competition there there's no competition because it's harmonious it is homogeneous you know so the, that plane is the perfection so that plane has reflected itself into the one dimensional plane into the two dimensional plane into the three dimensional plane and 
Now I'm getting benefit from all those planes. And of course, if I'm thinking of some higher thing, I can get benefit even from that world. It's coming off. It's just a mechanical thing, but it's it's coming off to help one um, and understand something. I hope I inspire somebody to do something about this, but here. For me, it's a, it's a must every morning. I, I take this, I put this water, it'll, it'll make some sound in just a minute. Once it goes into that sound, it's finished its job, it's got to go into the, I have a 10 liter pot where I put it in, and all the benefit of this goes into all my water. Such a simple thing. I don't have to go out and buy some machine to, to do such a simple thing. But why is it so simple? It's been it's like almost the primary creation. There's water on the moon, maybe in the two-dimensional stage. There's water in Saturn, there, maybe on the one-dimensional plane. There's water all over. This is the prime existence for living in this world. If, if you want to continue living in this world, this is the prime existence. And for those who want to go into a higher existence, then the existence of, of hydrogen is, is good for the person. Even in this material sense right here, it's, it's giving so much benefit to the intelligence. A, 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 a very uh, good intelligence. Not a materialistic intelligence, but a very good uh, spiritual uplifting intelligence. You got it. Every, even the, the biggest person that says that there's no God, he's got it too. <laughs> it's like foolishness. If you get down to the no dimensional plane of anybody, anybody, uh, they are spiritual. And that's it. There's no, there's no other uh, thing to be said about it. And uh, people are thinking that the whole spiritual world can't uh, exist in one, because there's no dimension, there's no fighting. I want to take your, your, your because it's homogeneous, you're satisfied. Satisfied in yourself, and you're satisfied with everything. And the, the exchange is directly to the supreme, and reciprocal exchange is given to you. So let's end it right now before it gets too... And then I'll just take this water and uh, I'll transfer it into this pot right here. You know, again, you got a really good pot. It's like a, a brass, you know, pot. You got zinc and copper. The combination of zinc and copper, I think it's a 40, 60. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, from, this is from Vrindavan Dam. My name is Shona Kadas. And I'll try to leave my uh, email if you'd like to write me.